Hey there. This is the uh, rendering 9 tutorial from Cat Light Coding. I just figured I'd start off with the uh, the coolness that is, and I'll get back to it in a second. But uh, to detail what's going on with this, I ended up doing this um, rendering 9 from Cat Light Coding, which just basically gets into, com as it says here, complex materials. And uh, it, the biggest thing that it does is include secondary mats with detailed um, information on there. So it does occlusion, it does <laughs> normal mats. I mean, he ends up uh, taking it through the tutorial and taking it from the non-standard or from the shader-based uh, gizmo widget for development and everything. And, takes you through the whole step and practice of, of implementing a custom interface and this is the custom interface that so it says here our default inspector versus the standard sh shader inspector so which is actually pretty cool but uh, you know I had done some of this before when I was playing around with it but there's a lot more detail it's kind of cool to have behind me um, he also does uh, mixed um, RGG, RGB channels for metallic material smoothness and also normal maps so you can actually include them in one um, one map and everything so anyways um, this was two in one uh, tutorials that I ended up doing for the same number eight and number nine and as you can see here with the uh, if I go and look at the, the plane and I take a look, there's the inspector. So this is actually the custom material that it's using, my first light shader. And I could do everything with this, like I'll just change the directional light and add a little directional light here. But um, getting here, you got the capability to be able to choose the metallicness, and this is the plane down below of the uh, material for the uh, the lava and the smoothness of it so whether or not it's a smooth or not so smooth surface and everything the emissions so this is actually the cool part is the light emissions it actually has a uh, a texture map for um, light emissions to basically say this is where we want emissions coming from from and this is where we don't which really creates a neat effect and everything and the source code um, currently running it over here is pretty simplistic. Um, everything is detailed in that, uh, in that tutorial, like I said. But getting back to this, this I think is pretty darn cool. If you take a look at this texture right here. I mean, that's amazing looking in my opinion. I didn't know you can do that. Well, I mean, I have seen it used in games and everything. I just never imagined how to put it together, and I never even thought about it. But uh, basically those light areas, um, that's an emission map. And if you look over here, I've got a light source that's up, up above and to the right, right of me for each one of these. So it's just a little spotlight, so that way you can see the little highlights on it. But this one has an emission map that, and also a metallic texture that's applied strictly to the circuit board part of it, the gold and bronze part of it. So if you can see, doesn't apply to the green areas, but it applies to the gold areas. Isn't that cool? I thought that was really cool. Anyways, he uh, he ended up taking through the second part, and if you look at the dents of the used um, circuit board versus the uh, the not used one, um, this one clearly has a little bit of a uh, battle and wear and tear it's been through. But the secondary detail, if you can see the, uh, the little green etching was down below. There's like a little green surrounded by the, uh, the, the uh, that little, it's light green and it's a uh, dark green. But uh, that all is part of the detailed, so you can actually have one texture for the primary texture, and then you can have a detailed map which provides even more details and exclude parts of that detail from showing up on the circuit board itself or whatever you're using it as the primary material and everything. 
So, coolness altogether, if you ask me. And I ended up applying it to the plane here, if you can see. Clearly, just to showcase the texture. But I'm actually, I thought this was really a uh, neat lesson in complex materials. I mean, pretty much exactly as he said. So, anyways, thought I'd share. Enjoy.